Hey everybody, this is Leslie from GoToKitchens.com. Look, what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it all mean? What does it mean when splat is in the house? <laughs> hey everybody, it's good to see you. Hey Jamie, hey Melody, I saw you jump in. Um, Evan, oh my gosh, Connie, cooking, Sonia, dad. I know it's splat, it's splat, and that must be that we are back. Hey, hey, it's good to see you, Kristen. Hey there, hey, uh, Uber Smasher. <laughs> Hi, I know, I know, splat is in the house, and that instantly means that instant me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Kristen. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've had the most amazing day. I'll share that with you a little bit later today in the in the broadcast. Um, hey, Wanda TS, it's good to have be home. Thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. That's awesome, Missy. That's awesome. All right. Oh gosh, I know. I'm gonna knock down all my rigging. I swear to you, I forgot to close my blinds. Hold on just a second. Everybody, hang with me for just a second. Hey, Robin. Excuse me, Robin, can you come close the blinds? Yeah, sure. Sorry, totally shouting out. I forgot to close my blinds. I was almost late. It's crazy, crazy, crazy morning. Hi, it's good to see you. Welcome, everybody. All right, let me introduce myself. My name is Leslie. I have a website, gotokitchens.com. And here it is. Here's the new line. I am a light bulb expert. I help people have a light bulb moment before they get cancer, before you get disease before you have something that is life-changing, um, I wanna help you, I wanna help you have a light bulb moment. So we do that at GoTo Kitchens with real food. We don't talk, <laughs> we don't talk about, we don't talk about what you can't eat, we talk about what you can eat because there are so many beautiful foods out there that you can be eating. You don't even need to talk about the things that you don't eat. You need to talk about the things that you can eat and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So I'm gonna ask you guys just one time, one time, if you would share out on Twitter, on Facebook, all of these, <laughs> I know, I'm a light bulb expert, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so right down here in the corner, if you would please share out, I would super appreciate it. We are filling up this room. Amazing day, right? I mean, amazing day. <laughs> so we are going to make a smoothie today. I call this, um, <laughs> I know it was totally brilliant. It was a brilliant moment of light that just shone upon me. So, um, so I don't think so. Actually, Gary, I had an amazing day today, Gary. I will tell you about it a little later. So that's what's going on here today though. Um, so, so I just wanted to, uh, I want to make a smoothie today. Um, I don't know how many degrees it is outside. How many degrees is it? It is 36 degrees outside, 36 degrees. So we are gonna make a smoothie today. I call this my Black Forest smoothie. Thank you, thank you. I call this my Black Forest smoothie. Um, I'm gonna have to block some people. So you guys, all you trolls that are in here, you're getting blocked. So just keep on going and I'm gonna block you. You guys hang in with me for just a second. Hang with me for just a second. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let's just, I know everybody, everybody come to the block party. Let's get some of these, uh, let's get some of these trolls out of here. So let's get them out of here. We're just going to do it for just a second and then we're going to move on. Are we good? We're good. No, it's not. <laughs> I did enjoy. I did enjoy it. Thank you. Everybody block them out. Okay. So let's get down to what we're talking about. We're talking about a, um, a black forest smoothie. I've said that like 27 times. How, how many times do you think that I've said black forest smoothie in the first five minutes of this broadcast? <laughs> I did have a good time. I did. <laughs> Oh, I'm broadcasting live in your car. That's awesome. How do you block? You touch their name. You just touch where they come up and it will actually tell you which either view profile or block. So I know <laughs> only 22 times. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. That's very nice of you. <laughs> so this smoothie is actually a dessert smoothie. I, this is not something that I would encourage you to eat first thing in the morning because it's going to have, it's going to have a lot of sugar in it. So don't go downtown crazy thinking, oh, this is a great morning smoothie. I will tell you even six months ago I thought it was a good idea is if I as I did more research and I and I thought about it more and I thought about its sugar content I actually changed it to a dessert smoothie now smoothies are great for dessert why they're mobile <laughs> this is a great smoothie for TV night one of my favorite things to make for TV night so you make the smoothie you go down you watch a movie you have your dessert you feel like you're drinking a milkshake but everything that you're getting is amazingly 
amazingly good for you. So you're feeding your body whole real foods. It's a brain fake out because you think you're getting something sweet when really you're only getting something sweet through the fruit. So it's such a great idea. Talk about light bulb moments. This is certainly a light bulb kind of, I know I love TV night too. <laughs> I know it does slow you down. Absolutely. Hey, it's good to see you. Hi, hi, hi. So here we go. <laughs> This is the, I have to tell you guys, you are witnessing the first time that my, that my scope has blown up like this. You guys are witnessing um, this for the very first time. Welcome everybody. If you're new to me, thank you so much. Please follow me. Swipe to follow. Swipe to share out to your followers. Thank you so much. I'm feeling very humbled right now and a little overwhelmed quite frankly. <laughs> so thank you, Melody. Thank you. Um, okay. I know. Hello, Periscope Summit. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for following me. I appreciate it. You guys are rock and roll. Thank you so much. Whew, it's hot in here. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> I know. Leslie Scope Explosion 2016. <laughs> That's awesome. It's so good to see you here. I'm so happy to have met you. Tell me your name. I'll have a hard time remembering it, but I'll try. I... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I know. Hot in the kitchen. Hot in the kitchen. You met me through Dr. Christine. Awesome. Yeah. Love it. Love it. All right. So let's do this. Let's make a smoothie. Ready? Everybody ready? Here's what's going in this smoothie. First of all, you're going to use, this is going to serve two people. So what I'm about to show you is going to serve two people. So let's just keep it in the, keep that in mind. We're going to use one banana. This is my favorite kind of banana for a smoothie. This has tons of enzymes in it. Doesn't help with digestion, doesn't help with anything like that. It has plant enzymes in it. This helps fight free radicals. When it gets to a stage like this, this is an amazing, yes, spots. This is, <laughs> this is spot, everybody. Everybody meet spot. Hello, spot. Hello, are you there? Uh, <laughs> banana calling. Hello? Uh, yes, it adds some sweetness, absolutely. These are great for smoothies. I have to tell you, quite frankly, I would not peel this banana and eat it. It would be too mushy for me. I have a texture issue anyway with foods, and so this would be too mushy for me, but it is perfect, is absolutely perfect for a smoothie. <laughs> are you laughing at my phone call or that I wouldn't eat it? Um, I'm on the phone, you guys. I, I'm too busy to talk to you. Hello? Yes, I know. I'm going to put you in the smoothie right now. Uh, <laughs> yes, perfect, perfect for smoothies, absolutely. Yes, thickens it, perfect. Yes, you guys are spot on. You know, you know of that that you speak. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So let's put a banana in, one banana. Here we go, in the blender. I use a Ninja blender. I'm a food blogger and I use a Ninja blender. I don't even have a fancy pants blender. I have a Ninja blender. <laughs> are you laughing because I'm talking to a banana? Come on, you gotta be nice to them before you eat them. <laughs> Into there, we're gonna put one cup of walnuts. Now then, you notice that nowhere on my bag does it say organic walnuts. These are not organic. Um, walnuts and nuts in general, <laughs> walnuts and nuts in general, I know, Blendtex are amazing, I love them. I say buy the best blender that you can afford. That is always my tip, buy the best blender that you can afford, so. Uh, <laughs> so, these are not organic. These I buy these in bulk at Sam's. Nuts come in a shell, so the fruit that you're eating inside, so the actual walnut bit, the walnut bit inside of here you're actually eating is actually a little protected, so I do not buy organic organic nuts. Nuts are really expensive anyway. Oh, I love that. I love that you found a knockoff. So let's look at a, let's look at this. Oh no, that's not a whole one. Let's find a big one. I don't want half a, half a walnut. I want a whole one. That's kind of hard in here. Hold on, bear with me. Not prepared. Getting walnuts out of the bag. Okay, well this is part of one. What does this look like to you besides a walnut? Don't be a smart butt. What does it look like? Not even cashews. Um, actually, cashews, I do try to find organic. You're right there. But walnuts and almonds, I'm not too concerned. It looks like the brain. Donna, Donna, you win a splat. Donna just won a splat. I just want you to know. <laughs> Donna, you're awesome. You just won a splat. DM me. Send me a private message. I'm sending you a splat. You just want it right there, baby. I didn't even say I was giving it away, but you just were right in there before anybody said anything. You just want a splat. It's coming your way. If you don't know what splat is, this is splat right here. Okay, 
So it looks like the brain. If it looks like the brain, it's good for the brain. Walnuts are amazing. <laughs> this is Splat. Splat is my kitchen friend, if you guys don't know. Splat is my kitchen friend. When you see him come up first, um, you know that I'm cooking in the kitchen. So if he comes up in the kitchen in the, in the video first, you know that I'm cooking that day. So there you go. <laughs> So, so yes, so if it's if it looks like the brain, it is good for the brain, and these are amazing for your brain. Amazing for your brain, okay? I'm not going to go into the science uh, reasons behind that, but we're going to put in a whole cup, a whole cup of walnuts. Good fats, amazing fats for your body. There's one on the floor. I'm going to leave it down there and try not to crush it during this broadcast. Um, but a whole cup of walnuts are absolutely amazing in this smoothie and so, so good for you. If you don't like to eat walnuts just on a regular basis, uh, just eating them out of the package, then this is a great way to get nuts into your day. The other thing we're going to put in is we're going to put in, these are organic, these organic blueberries. I, this is 10 bucks. This is a giant bag. It's 10 bucks at Sam's. They have them at Costco, maybe not this brand, but about the same price. This is a huge bag. This is 48 ounces. <laughs> you did not. You did not. I totally want that. That's not yours, but that's hilarious. That's hilarious. I know. Well, Robin, walnut cleanup, aisle four. These are absolutely organic. These should be organic. Here's the deal. If you eat the peel, it's no deal. So that's what I always say. If you're eating the outside of the fruit, I'm going to get purple hands doing this. But if you're eating the outside of the fruit, you should, or the vegetables, you should be buying organic. This is an easy way. You don't have to remember the clean 15 and the dirty dozen. If you eat the peel, it's no deal. Meaning if you're eating the skin of the fruit or the vegetable, we're eating the skin of these, so they should be organic. The banana, although it is organic, we don't eat this part. Well, you don't have to eat this part. I mean, you could eat this part, but <laughs> but you probably are not eating this part. So is it necessary to buy organic? I do, I buy everything organic, but yes, if you eat the peel, it's no deal. <laughs> I'm going to put it in your smoothie, Sherry. I'm putting it in the smoothie. No, I'm totally kidding. Um, but we don't eat the peel of this, so is it necessary to buy organic? Not really. But if you can afford organic, you should buy it. I'm like, la, 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 here's your banana. I know. <laughs> um, yuck. No. Ew. <laughs> so we are actually doing, remember, this is feeding two people. So we're doing a cup and a half of organic frozen. They need to be frozen. Organic frozen. Straw, uh, not strawberries. Blueberries. So there's, there's one cup, here's another cup and a half, going right down into the blender. Cherries, by the way, full of antioxidants, amazing cancer-fighting properties. Blueberries are like the, like, I am going to kill all the cancer in your body, fruit. <laughs> you, free radicals get out, fruit, is what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. So I'm also going to use organic dark. Hey, it's good to see you, Sandy. I'm actually going to use organic dark sweet cherries as well. These are great for fighting inflammation in the body. We're going to use a cup of those. Now you can see why I don't want you to eat this in the morning. This is a dessert smoothie. This is a dessert smoothie. These are organic. Why are these organic? Why do we eat these organic? Come on. I know. Move on, free radicals. Move on. Back in the kitchen. That's right, Sandy. Why do we eat uh, cherries? Why would we eat these organics? Eat the peel. That's right. If you eat the peel, it's no deal. All right? So we're going to put those in there. Right down into the smoothie. Now we're going to get our probiotics. I'm telling you, this puppy is jammed, packed with things that are good for your body. Oh, my God. Gosh, they're so good for you. Okay, so 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 good for you. So we're gonna use a tablespoon of yogurt. We are gonna learn how to make yogurt in fermenting week. Quite frankly, I'm pretty excited because I use yogurt a lot, and I'm super excited. I use it in cooking a lot. And I'm super excited. We're gonna learn how to make our own with our own probiotics. Ah, that was a cup of cherries, a cup and a half of blueberries, a cup of walnuts, and a banana. So we're gonna do a tablespoon of this yogurt. Yogurt has the probiotics in it. Which means what? Who knows? What does it mean? Probiotics. I know. I'm so excited to learn to make it. I am so excited, Lucille, to learn to make it. One tablespoon of yogurt, by the way. You need to be careful with yogurt. Cleans the gut. Absolutely. Clean sweeping it. 
<clears throat> good bacteria in, bad bacteria out. It makes you poop better. You guys are spot on today. You are spot on today. Absolutely. One tablespoon of yogurt. Be careful with yogurt in your smoothies. They will overpower very quickly. You'll get this. You could use kefir as well, by the way. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, why be careful with yogurt? I don't know who said that. I don't know if somebody said, uh, be careful. Oh, why be careful? Because it'll overpower the taste. So you just want to be a little careful because you want this to taste like a dessert, right? I mean, the whole thing here is that it tastes like a dessert. So you want to be a little careful with that and you don't want to overpower it. Plus, if you're dairy sensitive, you would just skip the yogurt bit. That's totally fine. You could break a probiotic in here if you wanted to do it or if you have other things that you get your probiotics. But I like to add a tablespoon of yogurt because it adds the probiotic, which is good for the gut. So I'm eating a dessert that is good for my belly. <laughs> yes, and I don't like kefir. I have to tell you. That's why I don't put it in here is because I'm not a huge, huge kefir fan. So this is actually grass-fed yogurt. Um, the cow, the source from the cows are actually grass-fed, grass-finished Bulgarian. So it's a little bit lighter as well. So yes, absolutely. Um, and by the way, if you're new to me, please click follow. I do this broadcast every weekday at noon mountain time. We're not always in the kitchen. We talk about health and wellness. We talk about light bulb moments. We talk about, you know, not getting cancer in the first place. I, if you have never had cancer, <laughs> when, <laughs> I don't know why you cried, but, um, but if you've never had cancer, I don't want you to ever have one of my t-shirts. One of my t-shirts that says survivor. If you've never had cancer, I do not want you to ever have one of those t-shirts. I do not want you to get cancer. You cannot get cancer. It is not your destiny. There are so many things out there that are like preying on us and saying it's like our destiny and it doesn't have to be our destiny. We can control it. Our body can heal itself. And so as a cancer survivor, as a cancer survivor, I had moments of clarity, but it was because I got cancer and I want to help you have those moments before you get it. So there you go. That's right. So we're going to put a half a teaspoon of cinnamon in here. This is going to up the sweetness just a little bit. This is a heaping. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> awesome. I love that. I love it. So um, this is a heaping, a heaping tablespoon, uh, excuse me, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon is a rotor rooter in the body. It is so, so good for you. It's one of those sneaky spices that everybody loves and nobody knows that it's good for them. So absolutely. <laughs> yes, that's right. It does. It does. Whole real foods are the key, are the key to this. So if you want, this is something that's completely optional. If you wanted to, you could use, I use Axe Naturals. Dr. Josh Axe is actually one of my mentors. Um, and I use Axe Naturals Collagen Protein. I am just going to do half a scoop of this, okay? I know. Well, you were you in here when it was 150? Uh, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah. It is a rotor-rooter. It totally is. It just it helps on so many levels with inflammation, and it rotor roots things out that cause inflammation. Cinnamon's awesome for that. This this is collagen protein. This is uh, actually from a grass-fed source, um, and I'm going to use half a scoop of this in there. Um, this helps with digestion. It helps with joints. It helps with glowing skin. This is one of the reasons that this smoothie, even though the sugar content in the fruit is high, is great for an afternoon or evening stack. Uh, I love it. I love it. So, um, but it's really awesome for that because, um, because it actually helps with your digestion. The cinnamon's going to help with your digestion. The protein, everything that I put in here has a purpose. The yogurt's going to help with your digestion of this. The uh, collagen protein is going to help with your digestion of this particular food. And you're getting amazing real foods and it tastes oh, amazing. Oh, amazing. It's so good. It's so good. So half a scoop, half a scoop of collagen protein right down in there. I store mine in a mason jar in the refrigerator, just so you know, I like for it to stay fresh. Um, so yes, I don't really have any other reason than I just, that's where I put it. So I got it from Dr. Axe. You can buy it on his website, Axe Naturals. Uh, actually it's draxe.com, but just put in draxe.com. Um, uh, collagen protein. Yes, you can screenshot that if you want. Everybody want a screenshot? Actually, I don't know what cinnamon I have in that container. I have several cinnamons that I work with for different projects. So and honestly, I don't know which one was in that container. Oops. Yes. Okay. Awesome. 
Everybody got what they want there. So here's the killer part of this. I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh my God, don't use almond milk out of a box. This is not almond milk that I would eat on a regular basis. Almond milk has a huge shelf life. So this is something that I've had in my refrigerator actually for a little while because we don't eat dessert every single day. We wouldn't eat the smoothie every single day. But when I want a dessert, I know it's available. So this is Blue Diamond Almond Milk. It's chocolate flavor. It's actually kind of hard to find chocolate almond milk that tastes good. It is on my website, uh, go to kitchens.com, look up Black Forest Smoothie, you can see it there. This one's a little doctored up compared to that one. I need to go change the recipe, quite frankly. Um, but this one's a little bit even advanced from that recipe that shows there. But the chocolate almond milk is a little bit difficult to find, so, and you're gonna wanna use that um, for this because that's what makes it, thank you, Lolita, thank you so much. That's what makes it the Black Forest <laughs> Hello, the Black Forest smoothie is the cherries and the walnuts and the chocolate. So that's where you're getting that flavor from and that's why I call it my Black Forest smoothie. So we are going to do um, a cup of almond milk. Almond milk is actually really, really good for you if you know how to make your own. Brilliant, you're brilliant. <laughs> yes, they make, you have to buy it in a little box like this. That's the only that's the only place that they sell it. So there's been some talk about Blue Diamond and their uh, BPA and their cartons. Um, if you were drinking it every day, I would see that as a concern. If you're not, I wouldn't freak out, just personally. Uh, yes, you could use coconut milk and cacao. Cacao's a little bitter. This is a little bit sweeter. So as a dessert smoothie, um, it's just going to make it a little bit sweeter. So there you go. I have a cup and a half of that in there. And now comes the moment on Go To Kitchens that if you are wearing headphones that you should remove them right now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> really? That's cool. I love that. Okay, here we go. Loud, everybody. Hold your ears. Everybody go like this and make this face because it's going to be loud. <laughs> I'm going to pulse it a couple times, get everything mixed up. Now we're gonna let it run on high. Ready? Everybody start. La 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 I've had an amazing day. I'm gonna go off of this scope and share with you why in the world that we had uh, 180 people in this room to begin with. So please, please, yeah, so please, please, please. So loud. Why is your blender so loud, lady? <laughs> Okay, so you want this to be nice and thick like a, um, I didn't do it this time. Usually when I turn off the blender, I'm like, so you want this to be nice, <laughs> you want this to be nice and thick like a, um, less like a smoothie and less like a drink and more like a milkshake. So you could even like sip it through a big straw or something like that. That's the best way to do it. This is just going to go ready. Look at this. Watch this. And it's a beautiful color too. Your kids are going to love it. Everybody who's hesitant about healthy foods is gonna love it in your house. It is so good. So, so good. Beautiful, beautiful. Don't drip, Oh, you're gonna drip, you dripped. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. It's so pretty and so full of goodness. No ice, no, I have all my frozen, all my fruits are frozen, so we don't need any ice. Nope, no ice, all frozen fruits, except for the banana was not frozen. It was just regular. I know, it's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to have a sip. Mm. Mm. It is so good. It is so good. Yes, but I'm going to go revise it. I'm going to go revise that recipe. You can taste the cinnamon. So the cinnamon is like really... It gives it that pop so you don't identify it as cinnamon you're kind of like what is that it makes it taste like a cake the cinnamon actually makes it taste like a cake which is crazy town I mean you feel like you're eating something that you're not supposed to be eating mm. the texture is that of a milkshake 
It has, um, you can taste the nuts. So the nuts give it this really, really depth of flavor um, that gives it that kind of just, I don't know, like that battery taste almost. And it's so good. So, so good. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Let's see if I can make it happen. Do I have something to wipe it off when I do it? Hold on. I'll get you one, Janie. You just stick with me. Stick with me. Right? Okay, here. Everybody have a drink. Ready? Take a sip, everybody. Mmm. <laughs> here, let's give Splat some. Here, Splat. Take a drink. Splat's going to have a drink. Oh, here it goes, Splat. Have a drink. I think he likes it. It's good. <laughs> All right, let's 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 try to get you a mustache. Ready, Janie? Are you ready? Here we go. You better go fast. Everybody get your screenshots ready. <laughs> I am totally goofy. You didn't know that about me? <laughs> I'm a total goofball. I totally am. So... <laughs> Oh no! Why are you watching food scopes? That's like evil. That's evil. You should have watched it later on Catch.me, Linda. That's evil, evil. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's the Black Forest smoothie. You guys have been an amazing audience today. I love, love, love. <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want this at night if you have uh, if you have sugar sensitivities for sure. But um, but there is, I mean, these are low glycemic fruits and vegetables. The only thing that would be medium glycemic would be the banana, and there's no vegetables in here. But the blueberries and the cherries are actually pretty low glycemic. So yeah, you can give it a test. Maybe you want to have less. You know, you know your own body. So it's a replay for you. Oh man, that stinks. That stinks. There you go, black forest smoothie. Does anybody have any questions? Can I answer any questions? Any questions at all? I'll be happy to answer any questions. Uh, okay, good, good, good. I like goat milk yogurt. It's hard to find. Uh, and it can be expensive, but I really, my veins are crazy today. I got ready in like five minutes before I came on. I love you too. I love you too. Um, <laughs> but yes, so, um, but yeah, I do. I love goat's milk. Yeah, and kefir is great. If you if you like kefir, awesome for you. I don't, if they do have it. I've never seen it there. Maybe mine doesn't have it. Um, but if you like kefir, bingo, do it. It's awesome for you. If you have probiotics that are just in powder form, you can just break those right down in there. So absolutely, absolutely. What's on the menu? We just made a black forest smoothie. So good. They have goat milk as well. That's cool. I love that. I love that. My dad has been looking for goat's meat. Uh, when he was in Africa, dad, are you on here? I haven't seen you say anything. Um, when he was in Africa, he ate a lot of goat meat and he really liked it. He's been, pardon me, he's been looking for it. He's looking for a farm or something that sells goat meat. He says it's really, really good, which I think is really interesting. So yeah, okay, yeah, kefir, yep. Yeah. So uh, I have not tried goat's milk ice cream. I have not. It sounds amazing. So Lisa, you can leave the yogurt right out of this. This is just fine without the yogurt. The only reason I put yogurt in here is for the probiotics. So it's not for the taste. You're not going to miss anything out of the taste if you do that. So I know <laughs> it's weird, right? But he said it's uh, it's not even a delicacy. It's like a regular meat. Um, and hey, there's Edison. It's here. You guys look. Here's Edison. He came in here to see me. He missed his mommy. Hi, buddy. There you go. Yeah, you're a good boy. Are you trying to, he's trying to get the walnut, I think. He's a good boy. He missed me. He was so happy to see me last night. It was hilarious. He was like, oh, mommy's here. <laughs> so yeah, he's a good, good boy. He's a good, good boy. All right. You guys never get to see my feet. There's my feet. <laughs> never. You never get to see them. Now you have. Now you know I have feet. That's good, right? Thank you so much. Other great stuff. Yes, there's lots of great stiffs at uh, gotokitchens.com. Show me your boots. Why? Here, I'll just take one off. That's my boot. <laughs> they are handy that way. I, uh, they're very handy. I got made fun of because I took seven pairs of shoes to Periscope Summit. I almost wore all of them. I didn't wear one pair. Um, <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got, oh, thank you. Um, we got, uh, and I work out of my house and I still get dressed up to work out of my house because I think it's important to look your best. You never know what's going to happen, right? Uh, <laughs> right. Okay. I'll show my boots. Show boots. <laughs> it's a new thing.
thing. Show boots. Show boots. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, you guys, I'm going to start trying to keep my scopes to 30 minutes, if you can believe that. Um, my inspirational part of my scopes are going to start coming down at random parts of the day. So you're just going to have to catch me on random for the inspirational moments. They will be marked hashtag inspiration. So when you see that hashtag, all my cooking scopes, all my wellness scopes will now from, I'm really focused now, so beware. Um, <laughs> so all my cooking scopes and regular health scopes will be hashtag light bulb. So when you see hashtag light bulb, you know that I'm cooking or we're doing wellness. If you see hashtag inspiration, you'll know that it's my inspirational scopes. So, uh, so we'll come on a little bit later. I know I am. I'm leaving in just a second. We'll come on a little bit later and, um, Yes, and and do an inspirational moment for you guys today. And I have a good one for you that I can't wait to share with you. So, um, yes, <laughs> inspiration, inspiration. Uh, I like the way you spelled it. Light bulb, hashtag light bulb cooking scopes. Hashtag, I know, it's crazy, right? Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag inspiration for the inspirational scopes. I love you guys. You've been an amazing audience. If you're watching the replay, please, please, please uh, swipe to share out. Please follow me. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the smoothie. Please make it. If you make it, send me a photo. You can Instagram me a photo, all social media, at GoToKitchens. I do a compilation like every four months. I do a compilation video of all the photos that I get um, from that you guys send me so that you can see your food and say so your food gets showcased a lot and shown back to all kinds of thank you so much. I'm happy to be back with Jane. I'm, I'm happy to be, be here. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. All right. Love you guys. I'm out and uh, I will see you tomorrow at noon and probably a little later today as well. So, all right.